guys in this video we will learn how to use wire loading directive in laravel live wire so let's get started with an example and let's see the example okay so if i go here and you can see that i already created a form with the name price and detail for a product create okay and let me go here and you can see that there is a blade file for the live wire component and here if i go here here also product create there is a component class over here okay so what why we need to use live wire loading okay so if i click on submit okay then you can see that if i click on it it should be like you know disable or something so that way user cannot double click and something like when some uh, like sending an email in the background and if i click on submit then it should be loading or something should be display okay so i think when you are developing with the long form or in the background there is a taking a pro process to time at that time you need to use wire loading okay so how we can use so let me go here and simply you need to add one div over here and i will simply say wire colon loading and here i will say like product loading okay simply save it okay and now you can see here refresh it and if i click on it you can see that it's blink you can see that product loading so if your process is in the background that's like you know like uh, uh, sending an email then it will like showing over here properly so let me show you this is the simple wire loading but you can also use wire loading dot attribute and you can make it disabled as well your submit button so if i go here and refresh it so when it's click on it and sending your data to the background so if i click you can see that button is also disabled let me show you in detail so like uh, what i will do when it's sending to the again into the laravel over here so what i will do simply i will use slip function and i will slip three seconds okay save it then you will see properly the layout okay refresh it click on it you can see that product loading over here okay you can see i can also put the image so i will say loading gif image and if i go here i will simply copy this copy image address okay and here i will be simply use that image as well so here i will say paste it and i will add width should be 20 pixel or something save it i will make it 30 pixel okay save it okay and if i go refresh and if i click on it you can see that proper loading bar is also showing if i click again you can see that each time when you request and sending data to the class then at that time the loading will be there so you understand how easily we can use like wire loading and you need to use wire loading when you work with the form okay so i hope guys you understand this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much guys